Hello guys, it's Papo here and welcome to another video. So today's video, I'm going to share with you some amazing Android tips you should be using on your phone. These are some really cool tips that are going to help you get the best out of your mobile device. Without taking much of your time, let's get to the video. The first tip is a very important one. This is going to help you keep your phone safe in case you misplace it or generally make it difficult for somebody to steal it. To begin with, you can make it difficult for someone to turn off your phone if they find it since that's probably what someone is going to do if they don't have any plans to return your phone. To do this, we are going to make your phone demand for your password anytime someone wants to turn off your phone. To set this up, go to the settings, look for secure lock settings, turn on lock network and security. Once this is done, no one can turn off your phone without your password. Okay, so this is a really cool tip like I said, so anytime that somebody picks up your mobile phone, anytime it's locked and you don't have your password, they can't literally turn off your phone. Like for instance, if somebody tries to turn off my phone right now, it's definitely going to ask them for my password, which is really cool because anytime somebody takes your phone and they don't plan to bring it back to you, they're probably going to try and turn it off because then they can't call you or try to locate it. But with this feature, you can definitely prevent somebody from turning off your mobile phone. So make sure you have this on. To take this a step further, this leads me to step number two, turn on find my mobile. This is going to help you locate and control your phone remotely if it's lost or you forgot how to unlock it. You can do this by going to the settings, look for find my mobile, turn it on. Don't forget to turn on offline finding as well. This will allow your phone to be found by other people's Galaxy devices even when it's not connected to a network. It will also allow your phone to be used to scan for lost devices that may be nearby. You can also find wearable devices such as watches, earbuds, smart tags or others if offline finding is on for your device and if it was the last device they connected to. So this tip is also a very important tip, it's just like what we have on the iOS devices where the iPhones can literally send signals to other iPhones to help people locate their iPhone. This feature is really cool, it's on Android, basically the Android device is going to help you track other Android devices even when they are off. It's going to make it easy for you to locate your Android devices so you should definitely have Find My On and turn the offline feature also on. Okay, so for tip number three, this has to do with making your phone feel faster. There's a setting in the developer options that's gonna make interaction and animation on your phone feel significantly faster than it is. To activate this, you first have to go to the settings, go to about phone, go to build number, tap it for a couple of times till you see developer options activated. So now go back to your settings, find and open developer options, find animation transition and window animation scale and reduce it to 0.5 just like that you are going to see a drastic change in how fast and responsive the device is pretty cool feature so this is something i basically do with any android device that i have i go into the settings turn on developer option then i change the animation speed maybe you can even choose to make it slow if you are testing out animations and stuff you're going to see your animations a little bit slower but I know most people would like to see the animations move faster and make their phone feel snappier. So make sure you go change the settings into developer options. Okay, so for tip number four, since we are already in the developer options, let's take a look at one other feature that I find really useful. Even in 2022, there are still some apps that still don't support dark mode. If you have some of these apps, you can force them to support dark mode. Inside developer options, find force dark mode. Turn this on and any app on your device that currently doesn't support dark mode will have dark mode on it activated. So like I said, there are still some applications here in 2020 that don't support dark mode and this is going to help you get dark modes because you don't want to be having your phone blasting light in your face when you're trying to check out a notification late at night or even during the day because dark mode actually does a lot to save your battery. So make sure you turn this on. For tip number five. If you're tired of receiving ads on any browser or website that you visit, there's actually a way in the settings to prevent this. This is not going to stop YouTube ads from coming or anything like that, but this basically is going to stop ads from appearing on your device anytime you browse websites and the likes. To set this up, go to your phone settings, go to connections and sharing menu, more connection settings, 
go to private DNS settings, go to private custom DNS hostname, and input DNS at guard.com. Save it. Just like that, anytime you visit websites or the likes, you are not going to see ads being blasted at you every day. So I found this really, really useful anytime that I'm reading blog posts or the likes. This actually makes it easy for me to read without having to deal with a lot of advertisements on the website pages. So for tip number six, here's an easy way to prevent others from leaving an application. For instance, when you give your phone to someone to check just one thing and you turn around to find out they are snooping around in your pictures or anything like that, there's actually a way to stop that. This is what you have to do. You have to use pen windows. Go to your settings, find other security settings, find pin windows, turn this on. And don't forget to turn on ask for pin before pinning. So before you hand over your phone to your friend, this is what you have to do. Drag the application up, tap on the icon and activate pin window. And just like that, they can't leave the application without inputting your password or using your face ID. This is a really cool feature because there are some people that don't know what is called privacy and they literally open other applications on people's phones, which is not cool at all. So if you have somebody in your life that you think will be like that, anytime you're handing your phone over to them, make sure you turn on the pin window because it's going to prevent them from going into different applications. But tip number seven has to do with customizing your side keys. If you still have your side keys mapped to Bixby, this is a way to change it if you don't like it. Inside your settings, look for side keys. Here you can change the long press of the power button to lead you to the power menu and even change the double clicking to help you activate or launch an application, which is a pretty nifty thing to do. So this tip is really cool and simple. I like the fact that I can just double click my power button and it opens my camera. It helps me capture those important moments where I can open my phone, go look for the camera applications and the like. So I really, really like that. This brings us to the end of today's episode of Top Android Tips. If you enjoyed this episode, of course, and you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Leave in the comment section other tips for other people to find out. I'm also going to check them out. Thank you for spending time with me. I'll see you in my next episode. Peace. I'm out.